the Newbery Award is given to a children's book every year. It is a yearly awarded to the best children's book of the year that is given for the Distinguished American Children's Book. It said that children's librarians were excited about the Newbery Award. It encouraged writers to write their original creative work for children's books. The Newbery Award book I chose was Miss Frisbee and the Rats and Them. Its author is Robert o C. O'Brien and illustrated by Zena Banston in 1971. This is not a picture book, but rather a chapter book for elementary school children. It is a genre, its genre is American fantasy because the animals talk in the story. Have you ever wondered if mice or rats can speak? Well, you're in for a treat, because this book answers that question. Inside a field lives a family of mice who can talk. One of the children's mice gets really sick to the point where he cannot be moved. Unfortunately, the family needs to move to another place because the farmers that work that land will be plowing right where the family of mice lives. During this endeavor for Miss Frisbee, she meets some rats who live nearby, and they have electricity, a lab, and other things that people that only people would have, but they are rats. They all work together to make an escape plan for Miss Frisbee and her family. Little to the knowledge of Miss Frisbee, her husband, who passed away, was friends with the rats who are now helping her. There is a rat who has ulterior motives and is only helping because he has another plan. A plan that is to the plan is to the detriment of another fellow rat, the leader of the rats. Wait and see what this book has to offer because it will take you through many twists and turns. The Caldecott Meadow is named after an English illustrator, Randall Caldecott. This meadow is awarded every year for the, from the Association for Library Service to Children. The Caldecott Meadow goes to the best picture book for children. The Caldecott book I choose to write about is from the author and illustrator, Chris Van Allsburg. He won the Caldecott Meadow in 1986, but it was published in 1985. The author has written many books for children. The book, I cho the book I chose is called The Polar Express. Its audience is for children, but also a classroom teacher could read it to their classroom. Overall, it is a great story with the fantasy adventure drama it's in. Have you ever lost hope in Christmas? Have you ever thought there is no real Santa? In The Polar Express, there is a little boy who is losing hope that Christmas is real. He's heard that it's not, until one very late night a, a train appears in the front of his house. He boards it unknowing where the train will take him. It takes him on a journey that will set him up to meet Santa. He gets one gift and he can choose wherever he wishes. What and will he, what will he choose and why? This story is a great tale for children who are at the age when other children start saying that there is no Santa. Will the little boy meet Santa? Find out by reading the book. So this story will surprise you all through the book and leave you feeling like a kid again.